the most recent pandemic has brought about a restlessness and a dichotomy which has never been studied more thoroughly. Hi, I'm Jimi Hendrix, and this is and this is the isolation collaboration dichotomy on Empire Your Pattern 2.0. I'm James Hen- Jimi Hendrix, founder of James Hendrix Empowerment. I know that there are patterns to help you receive more, help you to live a better and extraordinary life. In my podcast, I wish to, uh, I'm going to give you the spiritual and simple tips to help you overcome the adversities of everyday life and move beyond to those success patterns. Let's go. You know, it's funny. I had another topic related to that in mind. But while I was waiting on my Toastmasters meeting to begin yesterday, I was looking through some looking through an article, so to speak, on the Creative Speaker Program. And the speaker was talking about how he made it through collaboration and not so much isolation. And so, never before has this pandemic, I mean, has anything caused me to look real deep into this, well, it's it's a social psychological problem, but I also think it is a social a social political problem. Okay, so I'm, I'm kind of waxing a little bit in my interest in public affairs, but you know I'm also dealing with psychology in many ways. We're gonna make this like an, into a sandwich, if you know what I mean. You know how before the pandemic. We had all these uh, activities, people to hang out with, life to enjoy. I don't know, it was like 2019, and my book being published, it was, that year for the most part was a wonderful time for me. And... Just being able to really collaborate with my fellow Toastmasters and sit down and really enjoy my time with with family, with no drama, made no difference and made all the difference in the world. And then, of course, as we all know, the uh, the pandemic hit. And with the uh, pandemic, all kinds of pain. All kinds of pain. Isolation like you you never believe. And some people think, well, well, in in personal development, they think, well, well, that was good overall. I mean, the isolation was not good. The isolation was not fun, okay? Not for somebody like me. I'm I'm a social butterfly. But what it taught me was to rely more on God. Okay, and, and here's the thing. Here's the thing you, you need to know. After the pandemic, things started opening up again. You know, meetings started being in person. And I'll tell you something, it's much better. I mean, I, I, I can enjoy a virtual meeting, but there's nothing like going to a meeting where you can shake somebody's hand and, and, just, and just hear the positive tone in their voice and really get uplifted.
And because I think, I think our social psycho and our social, social political meters are full these days. No thanks to our uh, reactive culture. And I'm just speaking, you know, on behalf of me. It can be easy to think, well, there's so much I can I can't do anything about. Therefore, no one cares, and I get and I get, and I give up. I was kind of in that little funk yesterday when I came back from my Charles Masters meeting. I was having some personal struggles. I'd rather not. I'd rather not go into. And I don't know. It was just like <laughs> the dark thoughts came. I thought to myself, "Well, Charlie Nation was right all those years back back up in college." And that there's only so much you can do, and nobody really cares. Okay, that's that's the isolation end of the dichotomy, and it's also very defeatist. And I woke up this morning, and I asked myself, "Are you just going to sit there and continually put up with that?" Are you? Are you going to sit there and say, well, I'm an isolated bevel. My best friend don't really come visit me enough. And so I'm, I'm, a, I'm a victim and, and I give up. And are you, are, are you going to continue with that, which you went to bed with last night? Or are we going to get up and do something about it? And the more and more I sat there, I thought about something that Gary uh, Vanderchuk says. Don't just look for friends to hang out with. Mm -hmm. Look for friends to collaborate with. And he says, go, go, go to meet up. You know, join some Facebook groups. That way you're hanging out, you're you're being with some real people. And not just uh you know Well he well Jimmy he's my he he's he's my trust mother's my 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 homie, my homeboy, my best friend. Okay. But if he's sitting at home all day Uh, smoking dope and playing retro music that reminds me of back in the day. Can he really carry you as far as you need to go? And see, that's the reality I've had to reach. It's better. You can hang out with your homeboy. I'm not saying don't do that. But it's better... The Bible says it clear in Genesis chapter 1, verse 18. It is not good that man should be alone. Yeah, I'm going to preach it. It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him and help meet for him. <laughs> and now I've been single again for this September will be 23 years. I've asked God, look. I'm single. Who's my helpmate? Where's my helpmate? You know, I may not be able to necessarily find the answer to that. But this one thing I do know. This one thing I do know. I need to start collaborating with people around me. So that when those times come that, you know... People don't come visit me. I can bring the world of success to me. Be around people who are crushing it. Who are hungry. T turn the bad around. You know, we, we have, in dealing with this 
co- co- this isolation collaboration economy. Sometimes we have friends that are well intentioned, but no offense, they get they give crappy advice. And so we're going to turn this uh, isolation thing on a dime and, so, and and sandwich it with collaboration. You come like. Yay, we're finally getting back to the good stuff. Yes, you are. Because no man is an island. No man is an island. And so what I need you to do, what I need you to do is try to understand God cares about you. And he wants you to collaborate with people that will help you succeed, even if it's just online. Even if it's just online, you know. But he don't want you to sit there and oh, 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 was me. And <laughs> no one cares. Come on. First of all, God cares. And as your podcast host. I care. Now, as now, I hope you enjoy listening to Empower Your Pattern 2.0. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and become a part of the Empower, become a citizen of the Pattern Realm. It's Jimmy Hendrickson until next time. Do what it's not so you can be what it's want. And do what it is want so you can have it as care. Choose, act, and pursue happiness. God bless you. You guys go out there and have a blessed day.